Whether your child is a toddler, in grade school, or a teenager, you know that listening is one of the things that they are never doing. No, <laughs> not never doing, let's be honest, but always something that you want your child to do more of. So we are going to talk about how to get your child to listen today because I know that this is on the hearts of many parents out there. And you want to know why I know how? Is because I go into the Google search bar and I typed in, how do I get my child to? And listen was the top answer listed there. And so not only am I going to be talking about listening today, but I am doing a few how-to videos up and coming here with the top search bar responses. So you've got to stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and uh, get the updates on this series so that you can get your burning questions answered. So, and yes, I did go like this and then like this because I'm still getting used to the camera and where that subscribe button is. So over here. So anyway, my name is Jillian. I am a licensed clinical professional counselor and my business Fly in the Wall Counseling has been helping parents around the world to not only improve their child's behavior after parents have tried everything and nothing is working, but I also help parents to increase their confidence, get rid of guilt, and restore peace to their hearts and to their homes. And so I know that I cannot work with everybody out there on the planet, but there are still people who are wanting help. And so that is why I created my YouTube channel to be able to reach as many parents as possible to give you all quality information to be able to build into your child's life and to be able to build into your own life, which will automatically overflow into your family's life. And so today we're going to hop into talking about listening, which is a hot topic. And something that I really want to drive home in this how-to series of videos that I'm going to be doing is the first step to how-to is always to find out the why. So let me just repeat that again because it's super important. The first step of how to is always to learn the why. If we don't know why behaviors are happening, if we don't know why we're even addressing a problem, we're not going to go about it the right way. And so we're going to learn a lot about the why to help you with your how-to to make sure that you're addressing things the right way. So for example, there are a million reasons why your child may not be listening. Are they not listening to your advice and applying it elsewhere? Are they not listening to you in the automatic moment? There are many ways that maybe your child isn't listening, and so you need to make sure that you have that in your mind as to what are you really looking for? Because the way you answer, how do I get my child to listen when I'm not around, or how do I get my child to listen when I'm telling them to do something, are very, very different situations and require very, very different responses and ways to address that issue. So we're going to go through some reasons also as to why maybe your child isn't listening. And this is super important for you to start to think about this when you are talking to your child, when you're giving them directives. What is the reason why they're not listening in the first place. So, you know, overnight your child isn't going to just boom, automatically going to start listening to you because you do this magic formula or you put some things in place that I tell, tell you would be a good idea. Your child is in a habit. And really, it's a very human nature friendly habit. And so they're not going to start listening overnight. They're not going to start listening just because you apply some tips and tricks and techniques. They have to break that habit. So why aren't they listening to you? 
Are they super distracted? Are they feeling overwhelmed? Like there's too much input going on? And when I say overwhelmed, I don't necessarily mean that they are melting down or having an issue with their emotional regulation at that point, but really, are they getting in multiple sources of sensory input at once and just can't register what you're saying? Is there a little bit of stimulus overload going on? Are they stubborn? Are they just trying to be disobedient? That's going to require a very different type of response. Are they anxious? Maybe. Maybe they have a lot of things, you know, that they're worried about and so they're just not registering with you. Um, are, are, is what you're saying unclear? Let's be honest. We would love to say that we are perfect, wonderful communicators, but that's just not always the case. And so maybe what is going on is they're not listening because what you're wanting them to do or what you're trying to communicate is not coming off very clearly to them. <clears throat> and remember, children's, children interpret things different than we do, so keep that in mind for sure. And then finally, is there a lack of respect? You know, is the reason they don't listen because they don't trust that you're going to follow through? Or you haven't built up their confidence in that area for you, them to listen to you and to heed your advice. And that's not to say you're doing something wrong. It's not to say that you're a bad parent. But sometimes it takes a little convincing for kids to listen in certain areas of life. And over time, you will build that rapport with your child. But some things take a little bit longer to earn that respect let's be honest, some kids just have to learn things the hard way. So what is the reason behind why your child's not listening? If you're trying to communicate something and you're getting nothing back, stop and think, why are they not listening to me right now? And that will be able to give you a clue as to what you need to do to make sure that you can grab their attention and get their little ears and their brains to take in everything that you're saying. So definitely why, start with why they're not listening. Now, here's another really important tip. Your child won't listen if you don't listen. So if you don't, they won't. I want you guys to really take this in and wrestle with it because if we're honest, we don't always listen to kids. Kids have a lot they want to share. They have a lot that is really important to them. And maybe we're not super interested or maybe there's a situation that we're dealing with that seems a lot more important than Pokemon or than what happened at the lunch table today or what they read online, or the funny video that they saw and wanted to share with you, or the latest you know, news in their video game that they're playing. I could go on and on with examples. There are some things that we as adults choose to kind of tune out or not want to listen to, and then we wonder why kids don't listen to us, right? We often model not listening. And so if we don't listen, we can't necessarily always expect our kids to listen. Now I get it. Nobody is going to be 100% perfect all of the time. But really start to pay attention to, do you ever tune out your child? Do you ever not listen to what they have to say? Um, do they come to you and say, well, I told you this and, and you forgot? If we're honest with ourselves, we are not 100% perfect, and this is always something that we can improve in. But here's what's great about focusing on this and really getting this down solid. If you are listening to them, that's something that you are modeling to them and showing them, what do you mean by listen to me? If you are modeling active listening, where you are keeping eye contact with them, you're able to repeat back to them 
things they told you. All of a sudden, you have a great example for them that you can pull on later. And when I say pull on later, I don't mean say, you know, I always listen to you, you need to listen to me or, or hold it over their head. But it's just an example that they can see that if you even preface it with, hey, I really want to listen to what you have to say. I'm busy right now, but I want to give you my full attention. So in a few minutes, I'm going to make sure to do that. And when you do that, let them know, all right, I am listening to you. And show them those behaviors. Be a model to them because if you don't, they won't. So let's keep that in mind when you are desiring your child to listen a little bit more. And side note, they must believe that you listen to them. So even if you hear the things coming out of their mouth, you know, what's one of the most common things kids say all the time is you're not listening to me. You don't understand. You, you don't care what I have to say. This is significant because they're giving you an insight into, they feel like, not that you're not hearing the words coming out of their mouth, but that you're not really letting it penetrate your mind and your brain and your heart. They want to know that you're paying attention to the things that are coming out of their mouth. And when you do that, then you are giving them a great example of listening and that will be able to carry over into their behavior as well. When they feel heard, when they feel listened to, they're gonna be way more likely to hear what comes out of your mouth and take the time to be respectful in that way. All right, so here's another one. When we communicate with kids, maybe we try to utilize vocabulary that they would understand that's age appropriate and try to get on their level. But sometimes the logic that we use is very much rooted in adult wisdom. Kids will never have adult wisdom because they just haven't lived long enough yet. And so what you're asking doesn't make as much sense to them as it does to you. You know what a big deal is. They don't know what a big deal is. You know how minute something is in comparison to all the other things that could be going on. They don't really know that yet. And so when we utilize adult wisdom and kids don't heed that, it kind of makes sense. So it may be a really big deal to them that they don't get to finish a game or that they have to go out and do errands, you know, and maybe we don't fully understand or resonate with that child logic because we're so far removed from it, but that really is their reality. And so that's why it makes listening so hard for them sometimes is they're just not able to take in what you're saying with your life experience wisdom to know that that really is a reasonable and best case scenario situation, which many years down the road, they're gonna figure it out. But <laughs> for now, it just doesn't resonate with them. And so try to keep that in mind that even though you know you're being reasonable, they don't understand that quite yet. And so that is one of the major reasons that they are pushing back try to connect with their child wisdom. Can you solicit some of the things that would resonate with them when you're asking them to do things? Can you put it more at their level beyond just using the appropriate vocabulary? You will be able to reach your child a lot more if you're able to get on their level in that way. And finally, remember your child is human. Even if you have a wonderful relationship with them, they fully respect and trust you in every facet, you are able to get on their level, you are listening to them all the time, you have modeled great things for them, you understand why they're not listening, and you are using techniques to get their full attention, 
still, they are human. And so your child is never going to listen to you 100% of the time. <laughs> and I don't say that to discourage you. I just say that to let you know, don't beat yourself up or feel like your child is inconsiderate or not well behaved or that there's something wrong. Every child is not going to listen because every child is human. Just like you struggle to listen and probably struggle to listen to me at some point in this video if we are fully honest, right? So give yourself some grace. Give your kiddos some grace. Know that listening is just not going to be 100%. But definitely try to think of why your child may not be listening. Definitely model listening for them. Definitely try to solicit some of their child wisdom in addressing things with them and teaching them and asking them to do things so that you have a better shot at them hearing you out, not just letting it go in one ear and out the other, but letting it sink in the mind, heeding your wisdom and advice and doing what you want them to do. All right. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to throw some questions in the comment section. I know a lot of people have very specific situations. I would love to speak to your situation. Make sure that you subscribe and feel free to share this video along with some other parents to encourage them and help them to learn how to get their kiddos to listen.